Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this is a video tutorial for lesson 3-16 at my CAD site and we're going to start by drawing and modeling a building in 3D. We're going to add walls, windows, doors, a roof and then in the next lesson we'll add some lights and render it so that we have a fully rendered 3D model of a building in uh, two lessons. So all the commands I'm using will, were shown in the previous tutorials in level three and I'm using architectural units so I apologize to everyone that's used to seeing metric units but this is just uh, what I'm used to and what most of the viewers are also used to. So let's just get started. I've got a 2D floor plan. I'm in my southwest isometric view and this is made up of lines and rectangles and so when, usually when I'm drawing something like this uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just turn everything into regions so now I've got three regions created so I've got one two three regions and now what I've got that I can extrude these regions and actually what I'm going to do is just select them individually and I'm going to extrude them nine feet so there's my rooms but if I do a hide command you'll see that it looks like the three rooms are all filled up with concrete which is really isn't going to work so what I'm going to do is regenerate this and I'm going to use the subtract command so I just subtract from this and I'm going to subtract this solid first so now if I do a hide command you can see that I do in fact have walls now instead of a solid area so I'm just going to subtract again and I'm subtracting from this that area oops let's try that again subtract from there press enter and now I'm done again so now when I do the hide command everything looks like it should so I'm going to regenerate this and now I need to draw a door uh, right in the front area and another one here okay so what I need to do is just draw a line here and I'm just going to offset it five feet offset it another three feet and then uh, I'm just using these as construction lines I'm just going to draw a rectangle from there to there and this is going to be the beginning of my door so what I'm going to do now is extrude my rectangle six foot eight now I'm going to use the same door uh, right here so I'm just going to copy this over from this midpoint to that midpoint so now what I can do is use again my subtract command I'm going to subtract from the main oops subtract from this and I'm going to subtract my two door openings so now if I do a hide command again you can see that I've got door openings ready for doors so now to draw a door I can just draw a rectangle and I'm going to extrude this once again six foot eight and I'm going to copy this over I'm going to use this endpoint to that endpoint. So now you can see how it's very quickly to just start getting things built, doors, walls. Okay, so the next thing for drawing the windows, I'm going to start once again like I did with the door openings. I need to create the window openings. So let's just start with a rectangle. And it comes out from this corner three feet and size is going to be 48 
comma six. So it's going to be four four feet long, six inches wide. Now I can extrude this up. Uh, let's say oh thirty inches. And now what I'm going to do is just copy it over to other places. So first thing I'm going to do is just mirror it over to the other side. So I can just mirror it over. So there it is. And this one, I'm just going to do the same. And there we go. So the, I don't want these window openings right on the ground floor here, right on the ground. So I'm just going to move them all up and select them. And I'm going to move them at 0, comma, 0, comma, let's say oh, 40 inches. And now once again, I'll just use the subtract command. So I'm subtracting from the main building these four openings. Now if I do a hide command, you can see I've got openings. There's my door. And I've got openings for my uh, windows now. So now if I want to put uh, an actual window in, um, a window's thin, it's a piece of glass. So what I'm just going to do is change my uh, UCS. And I'm just going to choose a three point. So I choose my origin, my X, and my Y. So now I can draw a rectangle. And now I can move it from here to the center. And I'm just going to extrude this uh, just a fraction of an inch. And then copy it to each of the window openings. And you'll notice this wall's thinner. So maybe I'll just move it to that midpoint. So now, if I do another hide command, you can see I can't see in. But later on, I'm going to add a glass material to this so that it is transparent. So now I've got doors and windows. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the roof. And I'm just going to change my UCS again my origin, positive x-axis, and my positive y. And I'm going to start by drawing a line from my midpoint six feet up. Now I can draw a polyline from endpoint endpoint to endpoint and close it. Erase my line and I'm just going to extrude this negative six inches. And then I'll just copy it over. Oops. Copy it over. I'm going to pick this point instead and put it over there. So obviously this is, um, you know, just a rough drawing. This isn't something you're going to be doing architectural drawings off of and building plans off of. But now I can union these three pieces so that this is all one face now. So I think you can see how it's starting to come together. So what I'm going to do next is add a slab for the roof. And once again, change my UCS, my origin, my endpoint, and 
my endpoint. And you'll see how my icon changes each time. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle now from there. And I'm just going to erase that last one. I'm going to regen because a lot of times it's hard to get O snaps and stuff going when you're in a hide. So let's just draw that rectangle again. And that's better. And I'm just going to, uh, and there's, ex and I'm going to extrude it. Uh, oh, let's say three inches. So now if I do, once again, a hide, you can see, oops, and there's my roof on my building. Now if I just mirrored this, there'd be a gap at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to regen, and I'm going to first copy my roof up, oh, let's just say six inches. And then I'm going to copy it down also six inches. And that will give me a bit of a uh, eave on it as well. Now I'm going to union those three. And you can see how it starts getting a little tough to figure out which line is which but I think I've got three roof slabs there let's do a hide and yep that's looking good so now I'm just going to regenerate this and I'm going to mirror my roof and let's just get back into my world coordinate system and I'm going to mirror this using the midpoint right there. So now you can see that I've got my roof going but it's I've got this little part here to deal with. And to do that and to get rid of this I'm just going to use the slice command. So I start my slice command and the object to slice is going to be this one first and I'm going to choose my three point option and I'm going to pick this point this point and this point and I'm going to pick both sides and now what I can do this is hard to see these but there it is and there's the little piece left over so now I can erase that. So now if I do a hide command, uh, we're right there. So I'm going to switch over from my southwest view to the other side and get the other roof done here. So I'm going to slice and once again choose three points. And you notice I'm just doing a quick zoom in and out to make sure I do pick the best points I can. And keep both parts. And erase the excess. So I'm just going to go into my 3D orbit here and get a little bit different view of my house. And I'm, there's, so there's my roof, my doors, windows. If I go into my visual styles, go from 2D frame to realistic. You can see how everything's all gray because I haven't been using layers like I should be. So let's just go back into uh, wireframe. I'm going to go back now and 
start looking at this drawing as everything's modeled now I could obviously go into a lot more detail and uh, just end up you know spending days or weeks on it but as far as basic modeling goes that's it I've got you know some little lines to clean up I've got some layers to do but for now this is 18 minutes into the video so uh, stay tuned for part two this will be in the next tutorial 3-17 where I start rendering it and adding materials thanks for watching this has been mycadsite.com please refer to lesson number 3-16 for more information